idea what I'm doing I don't think I have a green thumb and I don't take care of the plants in my yard we have landscapers that do that because I don't like going outside however I would like a plant to like, be in our house so these are kind of small but I kind of like this one I don't know what kind this is so I gotta turn it around So here's my new plant. I just had it outside right now just because we just got home. Uh, and I need to find like a planter or a pedestal or something to put it on. I am going to have this plant indoors. So I just got to figure out how to take care of it. <laughs> but um, I just set it here for the time being. But I think I'm going to take it inside the house because I don't know if... Like I don't think any bugs should get in and out here because I'm like we're on my um, screen down on that area. So we don't really get many bugs in here. We do get like ants and like lizards, but that's pretty much it. So I think it would be okay. Excuse all our stuff sitting outside. They actually just came and pressure washed our, um, the tile yesterday. So we haven't moved it back inside yet, but um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if I should leave it sitting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it sitting out here um for a couple hours i'm gonna go take a shower and stuff and then um before i leave the house i'll probably bring it inside somewhere but yeah that's it i'm excited guys if y'all have any tips on how to take care of these let me know um this is the actual name of the plant i thought it was a calla lily and i looked it up and apparently it's very similar to a calla lily but it is not actually a calla lily so um some names like slang names for it are, are peace lily and I can't remember the other name I saw, but yeah, this is her. Hey y'all, so I know I look a little crazy. <laughs> I kind of got the, um, what's it called? Sideshow Bob look going on. Is that the guy's name from The Simpsons? I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to come on real quick because number one, I never really did an introduction to this vlog. I showed y'all my experience at Cake Drip Hyde Park here in Tampa, and we had such a good time. The chocolate that we ended up making was amazing. <laughs> so if you're in Tampa, I definitely think it's an experience that you should try. It was actually our anniversary. Um, so we did like a couple of things and I wasn't going to film anything, but I felt like that was too special not to share a little bit. So that's why you didn't hear me talking or anything. Um, I just didn't want to make it about me filming, if that makes sense. So anyway, we had a great time. The chocolate turned out delicious. I well, highly recommend them for the experience. Um, you know, if you're looking to do something a little bit fun and different and you love sweets like me, go support them. Also, they are, they've only been open a few months and it is a black woman owned business, which is a plus. I didn't even know that when we looked the place up, um, like we just heard about it and then we looked it up and booked our place and then we realized it was a black woman owned business. So all the better. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all a couple of skincare products because I'm getting ready to put this stuff away. So I wanted to share with you guys before I did that. All right, so first up is this stuff in this bag. This is from the brand Ease Rocher. This was actually sent to me 
via Ease Real Share and Autoly. So it was sent to me complimentary. So thank you all for sending this to me. They sent me four products and I'll share them with you. So the first one is this. This is the Pure Myth Mattifying Powder Lotion. And this is supposed to be it's very liquidy. This is a lotion product for people with oily skin. Now my skin is like normal, but during the summer, of course, it gets more oily, but you can see it's just like water. I have to say, when I tried this, I didn't like it. To me, when I put it on my face, it smelled like alcohol. And when I looked at the ingredients, there is definitely alcohol in here. The fact that I could smell it when I put it on my face was a problem for me. Uh, I also didn't feel like it gave me like super matte face, but it did feel kind of tight and drying. So I just don't think my skin is oily enough for this. But even if you have super oily skin, I still don't know that I would recommend this because that just seems counterproductive to dry out your skin. You know, if you have oily skin, your skin will overproduce oil to try to make up for what it's lacking. So unfortunately, I'm like appreciative of getting this product, but I'm not gonna use this anymore. <laughs> the next product they sent me from the same line is the Pure Myth 3-in-1 Cleanser Scrub and Blackheads. That's the name of it. I didn't make it up. <laughs> um, this was okay. So I use this as a cleanser and it has like those tiny like micro exfoliants in it. So this is not something I would want to personally use on a regular basis. However, I do think it would be nice if you took this on vacation or something because you can get that light exfoliation in just like one product, like a cleanser and exfoliate in one product and you don't have to bring multiple products with you. And I like that the container is small. So for me, I'm probably going to put this with my travel stuff and maybe take it out of town with me. But I won't be using this on a regular basis because I already do like chemical exfoliation. I don't really need a physical exfoliant in my stash. Next product I have is from another line from Eve's Rocher and this is SIBO Vegetal. And this is the Rebalancing Antioxidant Essence. Now this one I do like, however, I'm not sure that it's really doing anything for my skin, but I do like the way it feels. Um, it, I've used this in the morning as like a serum before I apply my lotion. It's, it's just supposed to balance your areas of um, oil and if you have combination skin or like me, you have normal skin. I don't know how much this will work if you have dry, I mean, if you have um, dry skin or super oily skin, but I did feel like it kind of gave me a more even base. So I did actually like this and I am going to continue trying this out. I've only used it probably about five times now and I haven't seen any adverse effects from it. So I'm gonna keep trying it out. And then the other product they sent me um, is also from the same line, Sabo Vegetal. This is the gel cream, or I'm sorry, the zero blemish gel cream. So this one is for combination to oily skin. And this is a moisturizer that is supposed to help prevent blemishes. I do really like the container. Um, I like the texture of this. It feels really good. It smells very refreshing. Um, I don't know that I need this in my stash because I'm already pretty set with my daytime moisturizers and I wouldn't use something like this at night. However, I have used this off and on, so I'll probably just hold on to it um, for the days when I, don't wear, when I don't want to wear sunscreen and I just want to put on a nice lightweight moisturizer for the daytime. I think it'll be good for that. I don't really have many thoughts other than that on it because like I said, I've only used these products a few times. So, so far I like this one. I like this one. And then these two, this one was okay. This one was a bust. So thank you again to Yves Roche. The other item I really wanted to share with y'all is from Teamy. And again, these were sent to me. Y'all know, I always give you guys my honest opinion whether something was sent to me or not. But these were sent to me complimentary from Teamy. I do have a discount code that I will leave down below for you guys if you're interested in checking this out. But this is their Detox Max and it is the Green Tea Blend. And I actually used this yesterday for the first time and I have to say I really like it. It's like a clay mask. So it's meant to purify the skin and I actually ran out of my clay mask that I had. So it was time for me to get a new one and I used this yesterday and I really liked it. It felt very cooling on the skin, which was perfect because it was super hot yesterday and I used it right after or right before I took my shower and it felt very cooling and refreshing. And then when I washed it off, my skin felt very clean. And I found, I found that it rinsed off pretty well, uh, pretty easily. Some clay masks I feel are really hard to get off your face 
or they get really stuck on your hairline. I was able to remove this one pretty well. So I'm really happy with this so far. I have to keep using it, you know, to see how it does long term, but so far so good. My skin felt very cleansed without feeling stripped. And then with that, they also sent me this applicator brush, which is just like a silicone brush. And I use that to apply it. And I have to tell y'all, I felt super fancy applying it on my face like this. I actually need to wash this still. So yeah, that was cool. I did um, share a picture of me using this on Instagram. So make sure y'all are follow me there. And then the last two items are two items that I picked up from Sephora yesterday. I went in there because my Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream got a hole in the packaging. If you've ever seen that, I threw it away, so I can't show y'all, but it is like the aluminum packaging where you can roll the tube to squeeze it out, like old school toothpaste. Hopefully y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll pop a picture here. But it always gets a hole in there somewhere, which is super annoying because it's very expensive. And when I went to Sephora yesterday, I see that they have finally changed the packaging, thankfully. But I didn't repurchase it because I was kind of annoyed with it. And I was like, you know, maybe I should just try something different. And I couldn't really figure out what I wanted. I knew I wanted a retinol product. Couldn't figure out what I wanted. So I decided to maybe just wait. And maybe I'll wait until the next sale or until I can find one on sale. Um, like when Ulta has a sale or something. But in the meantime, I did pick up a retinol that is not very expensive at all. And I'm going to try it out. This is from the Inky List. And this is the retinol serum. So that's what it looks like. Let's open it up. So it's just this little tube. This was only $9.99. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be a lightweight retinol serum um, that helps to promote skin renewal and smooth fine lines and wrinkles. And then addition, in addition to that, I got their retinol eye cream as well, which I'm really excited about because I've been noticing lately that I'm getting some wrinkles around here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting older, guys, and I'm not scared of aging, but I don't know. It kind of made me feel some kind of way when I saw my wrinkles there the other day. I don't know. I didn't like it, but anyway. So this is the retinol eye cream. Because previously before, I wouldn't put this anywhere, like any retinol products anywhere around my eyes because your eyes are very sensitive. But this one is formulated to be used around the eyes, so I'll just put it probably like in this area and maybe down here and up here. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to try this out and see if it works um, to prolong my youthful appearance as long as possible. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, that's my stuff that I wanted to share with y'all. I'm going to go ahead and take a shower and I'll check in with y'all later. I almost forgot to show y'all. I also picked up this high dose retinoid serum. This was a hundred point perk from Sephora from Sunday Riley. And this was actually one of the things I was thinking about buying. So when I saw they had this as a 100 point perk, I decided to pick this up and, you know, test it out. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to test out first. Um, I think I'm going to try my inky list stuff first. I just put it in my drawer. And then, um, and then maybe I'll try this um, if that one doesn't work for me. So yeah, I kind of like this to set the plant on, but I don't like the black. So we're at home, by the way. I kind of like this one, but there's a dent there, and it's kind of shorter than what I think. Right? We should get something taller. Yeah. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. <clears throat> I just finished editing a video and I realized I never showed y'all my um, stand that I found for my plant. Uh, it's just a little table, but I figured I would share with y'all before I leave today because I'm getting ready to leave my house soon. So, so here just she is. I just found this little like little table there to sit it on. I had the hardest time trying to figure out what to do, like what to sit it on because it, it's too short to sit on the ground and yeah, all the pedestals that I did find did not look like my style. They looked like columns. And I found a planner with legs on it because um, somebody, one of my friends told me that that would work too, like to get a nice planter with legs on it. But the planter that I found that was tall enough was too big. And so I didn't know how to fill up that planter because it would have been a lot of empty space in between the actual plant and the planter. Hopefully that makes sense. Y'all can give me tips, like I am not gonna be offended because <laughs> I am being completely honest. I have never cared for a plant at all in my life. So <laughs> I have looked up information 
and I have watered her for the first time, but I'm hoping I can keep this baby alive, but she's so pretty. But anyway, I found that little table at Hobby Lobby and it was like $35 or something like that. But I like it. It looks nice where it's sitting and I feel like it's in a good area to get sun, indirect sunlight, which is what it needs. So yeah, that's my plant. Yeah, so if you, any of y'all own any plants, let me know if you name your plants because I feel like I should name my plant. <laughs> but anyway, I am headed to go pick up my son. Uh, Mr. Noah has his graduation today from kindergarten and they're actually doing a little ceremony. They do have a limited amount of slots that they will allow. So I think it's four people per kid. Um, so we have to pick him up from school early today, obviously, because of graduation. So <clears throat> I'm going to go pick him up now. And then as his little treat, we're going to go to, I think, Chick-fil-A, um, get him some lunch. And then we'll come home and let him chill a little bit before it's time to go back out for graduation. He's supposed to get his hair cut today, but my barber canceled or his barber canceled on him today. And I could take him somewhere else, but honestly, last time I took him to another person, they kind of messed up his hair. And so I don't want to risk it on his graduation date. So I'm just going to not get his hair cut and just brush it. It's actually not that bad anyway. Um, but I am a little bit disappointed because I did want him to have a fresh cut for graduation. But I'd rather him have not a fresh cut and it still look good than to have a fresh cut that does not look good so yeah i'll get his hair cut later this week but yeah um in the school year guys so this is exciting for us and i'm sure for a lot of people but um yeah he'll be going to another school next year so this is kind of like a an actual graduation <laughs> hey y'all i hope the air condition is not too loud but it is 91 degrees right now so i can't turn it off <laughs> we just left noah's graduation and it was so good it was so good i was so happy and proud of him and i was thinking earlier today you know he's been having a rough couple weeks and so sometimes when that happens i find myself getting caught up dwelling on um the things that aren't going right <laughs> um but Today, I was thinking earlier, you know, I am just very thankful that Noah made it through his first year of real school without any major, major incidences. And he made it through in a general education class, and I am just thankful for that. He never fell behind in work. Um, there, he did have some challenges, you know, socially, but overall, he had a really great year. And it was so nice to see him up there with his classmates and like, Although they probably don't know what autism is or anything like that. They know that he needs a little bit of extra help sometimes. And it's so cute to like see them help him out. So if he gets distracted and is looking at a wall or something when he should be doing something else, they'll kind of like touch him to get him to like, you know, get back on task. And that was just really nice to see. So I felt like I wanted to share that with y'all. So anyway we have to acknowledge these small victories and not take them for granted because i know it's just kindergarten but it's still kindergarten and i'm super proud of him so anyway sappy mom moment over the kids are in the car with their dad um he had um my husband had to meet us there because he had to work so um noah wanted mcdonald's for his after graduation meal we tried to get him to go to a restaurant but that's not what he wants and this is his day so if he wants mcdonald's he can get mcdonald's so they went to mcdonald's and i'm going home because mcdonald's we're not going to sit in there and eat so yeah hi do you all have a guava drink yeah unfortunately i'm actually out of the guava right now i'm sorry about that out of the guava okay um, i do have peach as well is it a peach drink or like a tea or uh we have a peach green tea a peach green tea okay um let me let me get the strawberry acai refresher yeah what size grande all right do you want that with water or lemonade today water all right anything else i can help you with no that's all all right thank you so refreshing i haven't had one of these in a while um, but it's really good 
So I got it with the straw, but it's probably better to drink without a straw because sometimes I have like sucked up the strawberry pieces in my straw and about choked myself. <laughs> but the reason I got a straw is because I have on this dress and I just know myself that I just know that if I um, didn't use a straw, I'd probably spill it on myself. So, yeah. Anyway, let me pay attention to this road because it is a lot of traffic right now and I'll see y'all later. So I figured I would share my quick OOTD before I go change clothes. I am wearing this dress that I got actually from Target just the other day. And it is a size medium, but I kind of think maybe I should have gotten the large because I feel like it's gaping just a little bit there. Like I should have pinned it. But when I first put it on, I didn't really see that. So I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> But either way, I like the dress. It doesn't show anything there, but I feel like I can see it and it's bothering me now. But like I said, when I put it on this morning, or not this morning, when I put it on before graduation, I didn't notice that. So tis what it is. Anyway, <laughs> I do really like the dress. I like the colors in it and I like the style. And yeah. So I also pulled out my Louis Vuitton Pochette Mati and really like this bag i don't wear it like a ton just because it's a light color i don't want to ruin it so i typically won't wear it if i'm wearing jeans um but i do love this bag and once i pull it out i usually will wear it for <laughs> quite a bit because it actually goes with more things than what you would think even though it's a pink bag and then my shoes i got last year i'm pretty sure they're not available these are from steve madden and let me turn the camera down okay <laughs> These are from Steve Madden. I'm pretty sure they're not available, but if they still have some that are similar, I will link those for you. So yeah, that is the look today. And I felt like I fit right in with all the other parents by being a little dressed up, but not too much so. Oh, I didn't show you my earrings or anything. So these earrings I love. I've been wearing them quite a bit lately. They are uh, gold for May. So it's like gold plated, but it's a thicker layer of gold than what like regular gold plating is. But they are lightweight, but they look like nice and substantial. And they feel substantial, but they're not heavy on the ear. So I love that. I um, will link them. I think they're still available. I've been linking them in previous videos. And then I'm just wearing my uh, nameplate necklace that I've had for forever. And this is the one that says Noah. I have one that says Chloe as well, that's rose gold, but since it was Noah's graduation, I just wore his. <laughs> this is my cilantro lime chicken. I'm pretty sure I've made it on um, another vlog before. Well, I like to cook this. Haven't made it in a while, but I like to cook it and either eat it in like tacos or on top of rice. I won't be eating it on top of rice, but I got some cauliflower rice that I'll be eating it on top of. And yeah, so I always know it's done like when it's this soft because I, I just pulled that apart with just these tongs. I didn't even use a fork or anything. I was able to break up, these were full chicken breasts. <laughs> I was able to break it up with my tongs. That's how tender the meat is now. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just turn off, turn this off and just let it hold warm. I went to Walmart today because I just need to pick up some stuff and I figure I should just go in Walmart because I haven't been in there in a while and it's on my way home. So I did that. So I wanted to share with y'all what I picked up. I'm all dressed now because I have come home, took a shower and filmed a video. So <laughs> that's why I'm all cute now. So I'm getting ready to unpack this stuff. It's not groceries, obviously, or I would have had to put that away immediately. But I'm getting ready to unpack this stuff, so I figured I would go ahead and share it with you guys. So, no particular order. I'm just grabbing bags. So, the first item I have is this Meguiar's Leather Conditioner. And with that, I also picked up the Leather Cleaner. So, this is for my car. Keep saying I'm going to go get a detail, but I never do. <laughs> like, I have a little car wash near me where I can vacuum it out and go, like, drive through the car wash. 
but I need to go get a full detail. But until then, I figure I could just clean out my seats myself with this um, and then condition it with the leather conditioner. So that's that. That was one of the main things I went to Walmart for, to be completely honest. I just walked out with a bunch of other stuff that I needed. <laughs> So next up is deodorant. Now I actually did need this and I like getting it from Walmart because I feel like it's the cheapest place. It, this deodorant is expensive, but I feel like Walmart is the cheapest place you can get it. So I got this two pack and I think it's like $10. Whereas for one, it can be anywhere from, depending on where you get it from, it can be anywhere from like $7 to like $9 for one. So got the two pack. Also picked up some more hand soap because I always need hand soap. I saw these, I've never tried them, but they sounded interesting. So this, these are from Suave and this is the coconut water scent and the peachy clean scent. I've never seen these before, but I mean, it's hand soap, so they should be fine. <laughs> I also picked up this lotion, which is another thing that I really wanted to go in Walmart for because I was watching Coco McQueen. I was watching a vlog of hers and I saw these like in the background of her video when she was in Walmart. So I was like, ooh, I need to go go to Walmart and check them out. If you don't know who Coco McQueen is, I'll link her channel down below. Um, but this lotion is from Jergens, and this is the Skin Smoothie and it's the cucumber and melon scent. They had another scent too. I think it was like grapefruit or something like that. But this one, I figured... Okay, this one, this one I figured I could use with my Roses on Ice fragrance that is like a cucumber gin fragrance. I want a little bit more cucumber from that scent, so I figured I would try this out and see how I like it. And then I also picked up this lotion from Vaseline Intensive Care. This is just the Essential Healing Lotion, and I honestly picked this up because it's kind of small, but it's big enough. <laughs> For me to take out of town and my whole family use when we go out of town i sometimes will take like a you know girly lotion for me and then another lotion for my kids but i think i'm just going to take this and all of us can use it my husband never packs lotion when he goes out of town he just always depends on the hotel lotion so he can use this too <laughs> we're going on a little overnight trip for memorial day weekend just just like a one-nighter to take the kids away now that noah's out of school it's kind of like a Hey, congrats on kindergarten graduation. <laughs> so um, that's why I needed to get this and some other stuff here. But um, also picked up these goodie headbands. These are the ouchless, one, ouchless ones and they have these little like bristles. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I'm hoping I'll be able to use this for a puff because this is like my last puff one and I had to rig it to be able to get it to fit my hair. Um, so I basically just tied it, tied a knot there to get it to be the right um, size to be able to put my hair in a puff. So I'm gonna try these and hopefully they work out. And then I also picked up this air freshener for my car. I've never tried this one. This is from the Refresh brand, but it looks very similar to the Febreze band. I, I think Febreze has some that looks like this. Um, so we're gonna try those out. The next bag I have is some coffee. We're almost out, not completely, but um, we would need some more soon, so I went ahead and picked it up there. This is the Donut Shop Nutty and Caramel. I really like this one, and Walmart has the best prices on these. I think this box of 24 was like $10. Also, Miss Chloe needs some more socks because her feet are growing, and her socks are kind of getting too small for her, so I picked these up. It's just a 10-pack of ankle socks. We're also going to the beach tomorrow, so I picked up this set of beach toys um like beach basket set it just has like the strainer and a couple of like buckets and all they kind of already have something like this but i feel like the one they have is really like old and messy and dirty so i don't know i felt like they could stand for some more so this was like five dollars also picked this up for the beach i'm hoping this is not gonna be a bad idea but <laughs> it's like a little water gun so you pull it up and then shoot out the water Hopefully this is not, hopefully I'll end up regretting this, but <laughs> one for each of them. And even if we don't use that at the beach, we can always use that in our pool. Also picked up a beach ball for them, but this is not for the beach. This is actually for us to keep at home because 
now that we're getting in the pool a lot more, I kind of want them to have something to do besides just jumping off the stairs in the pool like they like to do. Um, so yeah, we need another beach ball, the one we had last year. We threw it away and I feel like we throw it away like every year. I feel like beach balls don't really last because they kind of get gross because they sit outside all summer. But anyway, next up are some clothes. Um, I have one thing in here for me and I did try it on when I got home and it does fit, but it is this dress. It may look a little frumpy. It's kind of like a t-shirt dress, but it has a ruffle sleeve and then kind of a tiered bottom. So hopefully y'all can see that. It hits me like right above my knee, but it fits me well. This is a size medium, so I feel like it runs a little bit big. Um, Cause most times now I take medium or a large in dresses, just depending on how it's cut. And this one fits me perfectly and it does not look tight at all. <laughs> so I kind of feel like it runs a little big, but this was like $12, no, $13.88. So that's that. And I really like the color on that. And for Miss Chloe, she needs some more like regular little tank tops. So I picked these up for her. It's just a little six pack multicolored tank top. For Noah, I saw these little plain tank tops. And so I picked him up a couple. I got him this one in black. And <clears throat> this was only $2.97. So I figured he can wear this with some of his swim trunks. Same for this. This is just a blue, same thing. <clears throat> Also picked him up a pair of swim trunks, which I think are cute. I hope they fit. Um, Noah is very <laughs> skinny. He's tall, but he's very skinny. So I feel like sometimes I have to size down just depending on how things look, because if not, it'll literally be falling off of him. So this is a size six, seven, but it looks like it's gonna fit. Some six, sevens are too big for him, but um, it looks like it's gonna fit. And then the last thing I picked up for Noah were these shorts, which I thought were super cute. Now these I picked up in a size four or five. So I did size down on them, but they're not a four T, five T. They're a four or five in boys, which seems to be a little bit bigger from what I can tell. So Noah pretty much wears like a five, six in most things. But when I saw the five, six in these, they looked huge. Um, and they actually have these in Husky fit as well. These don't say Husky, but some of them did say Husky fit. So if your child's a little bit bigger, maybe check these out because they may be able to fit these well. But yeah, I thought these were super cute. So I hope they fit him. I'll have him try them on tonight. But they were only $9.96. If they don't fit, I will go back and get another size because I think they're super cute. And then for Chloe, I picked her up a pair of jean shorts. Miss Chloe is still in this phase where all she wants to wear is dresses. And because of that, she has a ton of dresses but all her shorts are kind of getting like too small for her. Like she can still put them on, but like they're getting really super short where I just kind of feel like it's time to get rid of them. <laughs> so I wanted to get her a couple pairs of shorts, even though she's not into wearing them, but yeah. So I bought her this pair of jean shorts. They look super short. So hopefully they're not, I mean, she's a little girl. I don't care that they're short, but I don't want like her booty showing. So I think they'll be good, but this is a size 4T which she is again small for her age as well she just turned four and she can wear 4t but some 4t stuff is too big for her still so i'm hoping that these will work but they have the little adjusters in here so if they're a little bit big i can tighten them up these were only four dollars and fifty cents and then i got her these little biker shorts which i thought the print was cute they had some other cute prints as well but i got her this one and a tank top to go with it so she can be in her little matching set. <laughs> I thought that was cute, but we'll see what she thinks about it because Miss Chloe has a mind of her own, but the t-shirt was $2.98 and then the shorts were also $2.98. And then the other pair of little biking shorts I got are these and they just have little rainbows. They were $2.98 as well. And then I saw these little shorts and I thought they were super cute and they actually feel pretty nice and they're nice and thin so perfect for this time of year and these were three dollars and 98 cent and i feel like these look nicer than three dollars 98 cent worth so what do y'all think anyway i got all of her stuff in a size 40 and then the last thing i have is these little wine glasses so these are silicone cups and these i don't know if they were out of place but i came across them 
and I didn't know the price. When I got to the front, I was good with the price. They were only $5 for both of them, but they're just like little silicone cups. So you can throw these in a beach bag, which is what I plan on doing. I'm gonna wash these tonight, throw them in a beach bag. I'll probably throw two in there because we're supposed to be meeting some of my friends at the beach too with their kids. So I'll probably just take both of them with me, but they'll fit nicely wherever you put them. And when you're done with them, you can just throw them back in your bag. They don't take up space because they squish. So you can sit a bunch of stuff on top of them and they'll be fine. <laughs> and then the last thing I got is a cheap bottle of wine. However, this wine is cheap, but it doesn't taste bad. Um, I don't typically go for like bottom shelf wine, <laughs> but I wanted a wine to take to the beach. And so I picked this up, it's only $5. And barefoot to me for cheap wine, it does it actually does not taste bad and I never get like a headache or anything from it. So I picked up the rose wine because I figured um, if my friends want some, this will be something that everybody can pretty much drink. And it's like the perfect lightweight wine for the beach. Uh, I don't try to do any like heavy drinking on the beach because I mean, who wants to? Plus I have to watch my kids so I don't really Usually if I drink anything, it's like a glass of wine or beer. So this will be perfect to just share with everybody and it's cheap and easy to get down. And then if we end up not drinking it at the beach, then I will probably just save it for a pool day here. <laughs> so when we do our like pool day at home, I can drink it. And again, it's very like not gonna do anything to me. It's 10% alcohol, but I swear these little wines, they don't, they don't do much. Not to me anyway. They don't do anything. I just enjoy, I enjoy drinking the wine, but I'm not doing it to get a buzz. So something like this will be perfect for that type of drinking. So that was it from a Walmart haul of a bunch of stuff that I needed. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of all over the place, but hey, that's my life. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.